at this venue. Hagberg made a jump start in the fast race, first race and still won. Will you do it this time? And they're away. Clean start by everyone. No real changes. I think Steve Moe got knocked down a couple of places, but it's straight away. It's the two X-rays that go ahead, and it's Hagberg from Jeffries, the white car of Hagberg. Uh, his normal green and white bodies, he's run out of them, he says. And then you've got Jeffries in the white and the yellow, and then you have uh, Marcus Mobers in the yellow and orange. But already Hagberg putting a little bit of a gap on Jeffries. But he has to run clean, and Jeffries is dropping back. Losing a tenth or so a second a lap, and he's a lot more there with that accident. So suddenly, Jeffries is the first one to blink, and that gives Hagberg a bit of a lead. And suddenly, thrown into the mix now is this battle between Mobers and Jeffries for second place. Hagberg does a 12.33 lap. He can go a lot quicker than that. He can run through 12 2 if he wants to, and suddenly he's got that lead. Jeffries is not going to be able to put any pressure on him and drops another two tenths of a second. So certainly, Hagberg saved his mistakes for the practice final and has gone off in the way he is able to do and basically dominating already. So he's already lapped one of the other cars. He's going to pull in. Can't see that. Maybe Honigal actually may be down a lap already. A Hooper Honigal who of course won the stock a few minutes ago first leg. But the battle here has been second and third. Jeffries is dropping off um, Hagberg at an alarming rate. Hagberg two seconds ahead. I think there's one lap where Jeffries has gone as fast as Honigal. And he's now made a mistake as well. So it's now Mobers in second. He gets bullied back by Levin as well. So this is not going to be Jeffrey's Jeffrey's Christmas card list is not going to include Liu Ho Levinan now. As Levinan now fights to catch up with um, Mobers, but they are all a long, long way away from Hagberg. We have Mobers. He's dropped back one to Levin and the blue and white associated car, the Finn. Never really got qualifying together. And hence the reason he started down in fifth. He was always there or thereabouts. He was off and on for a really good time and then just threw it away. Now, as it stands, Hagberg has a lead over Mobers of 2.3 seconds. So, interesting, since Mobers got past ha got past Jeffrey, he's not lost any more time. Jeffrey's now in fourth. Let him with him third. Just going to go out of frame is the uh, yellow and orange Mobers machine. Just tell you now that the white car of Hagberg having no problems whatsoever. 2.25 down, 5.34 to go. All the gaps are on the right. As you can see it's that top four. Vogel in fifth, Sadler in sixth, Stars in seventh. Lost Honigal. Johansson, who's uh, in the A of this, in the C of the uh, stock. And it's all got very static at the moment. All the drivers now, after a kind of a start where Jeffries really didn't have the car good at the start and dropped back and got bullied back to fourth. Gaps staying relatively constant, still 2.6 seconds. We Mobers got a broken car four, so we lose Stadler. That's the second car out of the main, A main. So Stadler and Honigal have gone. Another car makes a massive smash. That's Anderson having a huge crash, and people are scudding to try and do something about it. Let's move forward to our leader. Matt, he's the white car underneath you now. And we'll just see how he deals with the traffic that's coming up, which is. Uh, um, Daniel Sieber and Mark Stiles, who are battling themselves for 6th and 7th. Well, 7th and 8th, actually. No, it was 6th and 7th, I'm right first. So see the white car, that's our lead up. He's actually lost half a second to Mobers, but I'm sure that's probably not a worry to him. He's 2.6 seconds as well. So Mobers is finding some speed, but is he going to find speed enough? Now, at this point, as uh, Sieber lets him through very easily, Stiles will let him through next. And the X ray of Hagberg comfortably keeping ahead almost exactly to the thousandth in fact he gains two thousandths of a second on uh, Mobers there with the CRC off camera we've lost Levenon as well so Levenon's broken his car off camera so Jeffrey moves into third so there's a few slap bangs and it seems it's such an unforgiving track that you don't come back for it so Levenon, Stadler and Honigal qualifies four, five and seven are already out with mechanicals so extra points for everyone else in the game. But the main points are, is number one. Oh, that was hard. And uh, Alexander Anderson has got the fastest lap of the time. But I'm not sure if that's an accurate count, but he may have just pulled a, a perfect one out. But even so, driving with himself is our double European champion. Remember, this is the man who's won the last two European championships. So Hagberg 
Packs his final problems very quickly forgotten. And things are looking up for the Swede, who's standing on a box, even though he doesn't need to, on the rostrum. I mean, you have to say, Mobus has kept him honest in this one, but unfortunately, from a distance, it's not putting him under any pressure. Still just over three, under three minutes to run. Jeffries is going to be very disappointed with this, because he's not on the pace. Oh, and that's a mistake there from uh, Sieber. So Jeffries really not on the pace. Hagberg trolling around doing laps. Let's uh, let's drop back and see if we can find a bit of Jeffries. He's on the main straight now, going through the the, uh, the maze. He's in third, but Carr not really working to his liking. He's not done any laps, which, you know, he's really not done anything. His best time is 500s back, but he's losing tenths here and tenths there. And the car, I don't know whether he's mentally just not that bothered anymore because he's third and he can't see himself catching up Hagberg, but he's a long, long way away. But he's so far behind Hagberg. And Mobus now has dropped back to 3.3. I think that's a bit of traffic issues. As he completes the lap now, Jeffries is eight seconds back, so he's two-thirds of a lap behind him. And that has been a couple of accidents, yes, but mostly just from not being as fast in individual laps. And, he, and Jeffries won, inverted commas, the practice final. So... Yeah. So Dominic Vogel, not mentioned Dominic Vogel, he's currently running uh, in fourth, but we haven't mentioned him because he's just trolled around in fourth and hasn't got involved in this, but this race has been very spread out from about lap five when we saw the performance of the Swede. So we've got about a uh, minute and 33 to go. Let's uh, very quickly have a very quick look at Marcus Mobers going through the uh, the M at the moment and around into Ephra. He's... Uh, all wheels pointing in the right direction. Everything fine for Mobus. But the class of the A-Final, and we've said this for now for three years in a row, is Hagberg looking 50% towards his third European Championship in a row. And the last person I remember doing that is Renault Savoia in uh, one eighth off-road. I think he ran from about 9, 10, 11. He ran 8, 9, and 10. No, 9, 10, 11. It's very hard to retain European Championships, but uh, Hagberg is making it look easy at the moment against a very high field. And let's now pick up our leader, who's underneath us now, and going around the uh, carousel. So Hagberg, stamping his authority in the event, and I would think leaving his rivals scratching their heads about what the heck they can do. Because it does appear that unless he hits something himself, not only does he have the ability, he also has the ground speed. And Mobus has hung on to him. He's only lost six tenths of a second since he got into second place. But he has lost six tenths of a second. Jeffries is now well, in, a different, in a different race he's so far behind. He has got third, but he's ten seconds back. And the rest of the field has either dissipated or disappeared. As there'll be two more laps for our leader. Uh, I don't think there'll be two more laps for Mobus. So this will be him crossing the line now. And it's a victory lap for Alexander Hagberg. And that's taking him over. Just two more corners to go, and Hagberg will be the winner, which you can't really deny. So great work there by Hagberg. Takes the victory. Oh, and he, he's going to get away. Is he going to get away? So we've retained Alexander Hagberg. Well, Alex, that, um, when you open a book and you look in the word textbook victory, um, they'll have your eight minutes races there. That was a great run. Yeah, to be honest, the nerves got the better on me in the practice final, so I just tried to take it easy and control the race, so it went pretty well. And is the car set up exactly the same as yesterday, or were you fiddling with it overnight to change it at all? It's the same setup that I ran in Q6, but I thought the track had a little bit less grip today, so maybe I will adjust something to accommodate for that. So you're halfway through to your third consecutive European Championship. Does that mean the nerves go down or the nerves go up? I mean, my car is really good now, so that gives me more confidence coming into A2, actually. Brilliant. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. So Alexander Hagberg has won the first of three legs of the A-Final, and you'll be able to see the next two on RC Racing TV later today. And we'll just stick